How do I avoid being hit by lightning? Lightning flashes up to 100 times a second worldwide. You'd think this would be enough for us to understand it properly, but it isn't. For starters, we can't predict when or where lightning will strike. We know that Ben Franklin was incredibly lucky with his alleged kite experiment, because lightning is a big streak of up to a billion volts and 200,000 amps of static electricity. It mainly appears during thunderstorms, which are named after the sound of a lightning strike. The big issue, though, is that we don't fully understand how lightning actually forms. One of the leading theories is that in a storm, tiny ice crystals and lumps of hail are crashing against each other. This violence causes electrons on some of the rising ice crystals to break off and attach themselves to the heavier falling hail. And because electrons are negative, the hail becomes negatively charged. We know that electricity is divided into positive and negative charge. It was actually Benjamin Franklin who introduced this idea in 1747. All the negative charge then starts to collect in the base of the storm cloud. The ground below contains both negative and positive charge, but the negative charges are repulsed by the negativity in the cloud base, leaving the positive charges all alone. And, just like in a bad romantic comedy, opposites always attract. Eventually, this attraction becomes overwhelming and all the pent-up energy is released with a bolt five times hotter than the sun. Lightning comes in several editions, including forked, streaked, rocket and the very rare ball. Not all lightning strikes the ground. In fact, most of the time, it just fires about inside the storm cloud. If you see this happening, Count the seconds from when you see lightning to when you hear thunder, and then divide that number by five, and this will tell you how many miles away the storm is. But if you get caught out, steer clear of any metal. Water is also a good conductor of electricity, so avoid that as well. Try to get indoors if you can, but don't use the phone to let people know you're okay.